Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For all real numbers a and b, the negative of a times the negative of b is equal to ab. Now in this series, we are using a list of 10 axioms for the real number system. And I'll leave that list of axioms in the description of the video below. Now in proving this theorem, we're not going to need to refer to any of the axioms directly, but rather we're going to be using two results which we have proven regarding the real number system. And those results are as follows. The first result is, for all real numbers x, the negative of the negative x is equal to x. And the second result is, for all real numbers a and b, the negative of a times b is equal to a times the negative b, which is equal to the negative of a b. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. To start of the proof, let's first give ourselves two arbitrary real numbers, a and b. From here, the whole goal is to show that the negative a times the negative b is equal to ab. And we're going to show that this is true through a chain of equalities. And we're going to be applying these two statements. First of all, if we apply star star, we're going to take capital A to be a, and we're going to take capital B to be the negative of b. Well, in that case, we're replacing capital A with a, replacing capital B with negative b, and we have negative a times negative b is equal to the negative of a times negative b, right? So this guy must be equal to this guy. And then, if we apply star star again, well, in this case, we're going to take capital A to be A and take capital B to be B. Well, in that case, we have A times negative B is equal to the negative of AB. So the guy we have inside this parentheses is equal to the negative of AB. So overall, this entire thing is equal to the negative of the negative of AB. And then by star, this is just equal to AB. So we have shown the negative of A times the negative B is equal to AB. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes proof. And a corollary of this theorem is that negative 1 times negative 1 is equal to 1. Because if we take a to be 1 and b to be 1, well then we have negative 1 times negative 1 is equal to 1 times 1, and by axiom 6, 1 times 1 is equal to 1. So we have negative 1 times negative 1 equal to 1. Right, this is a corollary of this theorem. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.